My life has been a journey of searching. When I was a little boy, I always dreamed to be an artist. Even though at that time, I had no idea I was an artist, how to become an artist. Uh, since I was uh, very little, I started to draw and I draw every day. And I post every artwork on the wall of my home. When I reached to my teenager, I started to gather with some uh, some classmates, some childhood friends. That we do art together, we make charcoal together from wood, and we walk together for 20 miles to walk to the next town to buy a couple pencils. After I graduated from college, I became a high school teacher. I spent every summer walking outside in the field and walking along the seashore and with my oil painting paint box and materials. And I would do paintings from the morning until the evening. And I even locked myself in a room for the entire month in the summer. I tried to develop something unique with watercolor. 1989, I immigrated to Boston from China and I left my job as a high school teacher. Uh, my first job was uh, working in a Chinese supermarket in Chinatown. Uh, I was still thinking about why I was here and what should I do from here on. After a couple of weeks of working, I had some friends in the supermarket and someone told me, hey, you should not work in the supermarket. She said, you should work in the restaurant. And I was not sure what the restaurant was supposed to do and what can't, how can I fit into the restaurant? But definitely I felt I did not belong to a supermarket. So I told my family, my brother-in-law, and he helped me to locate a job in Maine to work in a restaurant. So I worked there nine months. And during that time, I went back home to marry my wife, uh, someone I love and still loving every day. One day, the owner of the restaurant, Mr. Lee, asked me about my past and why I came over here and uh, what I'm going to do, what is my plan. At the end, he encouraged me. I should not work in the restaurant. He did not think that this is what my strength or what my passion is. After I returned back to Boston from Maine, uh, I started to try to integrate and adapt the new culture. After I came to this country, I tried to fit into the new world. At the end of their uh, English study, I met a good friend of mine, and she was my advisor, and still a very good friend. She's Bessie. Bessie uh, told me that, Young, you really should do something that you, what you really like to do. I asked her, what should I do? And with many conversations, uh, in school and after the school, uh, I, I learned something I never learned before was something called graphic design, something called uh, 
is how to be a painter, how to be an artist in this country. It's all because the encouragement from Bessie that I have uh, won first prize uh, in drawing and the second prize in watercolor. And then I start realize, oh, I probably can do art. I have been a commercial artist. I got a job offer in New Hampshire and I became a commercial illustrator for a publishing company. I worked there for three years. I moved my home from Boston to New Hampshire. Being a commercial artist, from my point of view, it is a way to make a living. And I was comfortable with that for many years. And I did what I like to do and I and I did it every day. I was a graphic designer, I was a digital illustrator, and I did advertising design, and design for the internet, design for digital applications, and I would say I was good at it. But it kind of lack of a purpose. It's just doing it because I have to do it. Compared to uh, being a painter, in my whole life, has been my way of express myself. It has a way of communicate my feeling, communicate my desire uh, with the paint and brush. From 1995, I already started to teach uh, a watercolor workshop in Mass College of Art and Design, watercolor portraiture, and later I talk uh, the day classes for uh, illustrations and watercolor for illustrators and drawings classes. Uh, at the same time, they work full time for the advertising. With my new art learning center, we'll be able to deliver to anyone across the boundary of countries. What is my direction? How am I going to go uh, from there to where I really want to reach? Uh, that questions never have a definite answer. But I keep searching. I keep searching. Searching every year, searching even every day. I keep thinking about that.